Hey guys, this is Frozen 2 Fanboy Dawson 4 here, or for, aka Frozen 2 the Trigger Things Fanboy Dawson 4 here. And welcome back to another video, and and welcome to my very first Halloween review series. Yeah, where I review horror movies, or maybe Halloween Halloween related movies, um, and shows as well. Um, and likewise, in my, uh, um, in, my channel, in my channel of this video, um, just, in case, just in case you missed that video, um, I'm not gonna be using my um gacha avatar for reviews anymore. Um, yeah, so I I rather just uh, make my reviews like this for now on. So yeah. So for the very first Halloween, um, the very first review I'm doing for Halloween, it's gonna be on the Fear Street trilogy. Yep, uh, I'm reviewing all three movies in this video. So yeah, um, this is actually my first time watch and uh, my first time watching it, and yeah, I only watch it cause uh, well I'll explain it later, but yeah, so. This came out in July, um, probably around the same day as Black Widow, I think. I don't know, but I don't know how, how this came out, but I think one week apart or either one week apart or the same day, I don't know. But uh, if anyone knows how the, how these movies got released, uh, please let me know in the comment. But it's either one week apart or all three of them released on the same day. That, that's what I remember. Um, so, yeah, um, I now... To be honest, I actually watched this movie in a diff uh, uh, on um a different order um not chronological. It was I I mixed it up, but uh, yeah. So how I did is that I I watched the uh, the second one first, which is nineteen seventy eight, and then the third one next, which is sixteen sixty six, and then the last last one was the one that started all nineteen ninety four. So yeah, but even with that order, I mean I'm still gonna be re reviewing this movie um in a cr chronological order. So yeah. Let's start us off with Fear Street 1994. So Fear Street 1994 uh, t t tells a story of, well, taking place as well, 1994, as the title suggests. Uh, um, that tells a story for a group of teenagers um, that, um, who, who, who discovered the witch, a witch named Sarah Fear, uh, and, um, who has, uh, and um, who has uh, haunted the town and, um, and um, haunted the town that uh, connects some different generations, which, uh, the generations will be explained in the, in the next two films. Um, yeah, so Sarah Fear, um, Hunted Down is the witch, and uh, her armies are like the, the slashers. Um, the, the, you'll see. Uh, um, and yeah, um, that's and the, the teenagers must stop the stop the, the slashers. So yeah, Fish Nine 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 Four was actually the one I was least excited for because, uh, well, I guess I don't know. Um, Actually, uh, I was here now. The reason why I watched the Fear Street is because of Sa Sadie Sink is in it. Yeah, Sadie Sink is one of the best actors. I think everyone knows my love for Sadie Sink, and uh, she was the main character of Fear Street. Um, a few months ago, I watched I watched a clip um of Fear Street that nineteen seventy eight where um, Sadie Sink's character called named Ziggy Berman was uh burned the, her like her arm like they like they were uh, burning her arm and uh, and yeah. And the um and then and then the bullies are accused of being a witch yeah so um, that's how I wanted to watch Fear Street um but F so Fear Street nine ninety four unfortunately I say Sneak is not in it uh she did make a cameo on sixty sixty six which I'll, I'll I'll get to later but yeah um I think I probably just talk about them on their own now but so at well at least Fear Street nine ninety four has uh Maya Hawk um and and in my personal opinion um Maya Hawk's character named um. What's his name again? Uh, Heather was kind of the standout. Uh, he, either her or um, Kate. Yeah, I think either her or Kate are my, would, would be my favorite character. Um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Fear Street 994 is a great movie. Uh, yeah, um, I think this was such a great movie. I know that people uh, on IMDb, like, re like um, review bomb this movie. Um... And they're saying it sucks, and uh, for some reason they, they say it's more. They, they say it's because of the teenagers, yeah. But seriously, um, let me defend that. Like first of all, um, they're teenagers. Like, come on, what do you expect from them? Like you know them screaming and you know, and bitching about things all the time. Yeah, that's that's really what they're like. Um. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, 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 you cannot stop the teenagers. Yeah, they're they're teenagers. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I hope you guys understand that. Yeah, um. That uh, they're they're really meant to be like that. I, I think this movie does have a, a have an accurate portrait of the ages. Some of the criticisms I I do agree with. I honestly um I agree that uh, that I feel like it, it, it's a little tonally inconsistent. As it that doesn't 
it can decide if it wants to be a uh, slasher hor- slasher or supernatural kind of horror um as you know it's um this movie mo- th- this movie is like meant to be a supernatural but but it wants to pay homage to slasher films like mostly scream i mean the first ha- the first five minutes of the film like with my hawk's character up uh, reminds me of scream like like it will give you a scream vibe like vibes of the opening a scream or like uh this uh where, where, where the character gets threatened uh, by a phone call and then um and then suddenly the killer comes and stabs uh yeah that one yeah they literally um yeah um i'm sure you know you know where i'm going yes it, yeah I, I love how it pays so much and yeah many people complain that 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 it feels too modern for 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 a 90s movie movies th- that takes place in the 90s i sort of agree with that um like because like um in the mall you can see some modern stores um and like some yeah i can see some stores that that were um that existed in, in the well, more times in the 21st century the hell's that um i hear something going on outside but okay never mind ah let's not get distracted um but even with that it still has, has a great 90s vibe to it yeah i mean it, it, it able to capture the 90s uh like very well um and yeah the kills are ours are easily the best part of the film for me yeah yeah it was such a blast uh, anything that involves the kills is just so much fun i love the music as well very underrated music uh and uh, i love the, the i love the dangers that, that these teens had to teens had to face uh facing off, facing off against the killers um so yeah and so yeah well that's all for my review of fear street 994 fear street 994 is a great movie um yeah, it's such a great movie. It's a great uh, homage to uh to, to the slasher genre. Uh, even though it it's not the best. Uh, I mean, and uh, yes, I will say though. No, I think it is the weakest in the trilogy, but it's still awesome. Yeah, and yeah, I'm gonna get Fear Street nineteen ninety four uh, uh, a low out a low eight out of ten. All right, now time for my second review, and oh boy, I cannot wait to talk about this one. Fear Street 1978. Um, so, Fear Street 1978 uh, tells a story this time, uh, like, uh, um, t- tells a story of, um, the backstory of uh, uh, taking place in ki- in camp, uh, in summer camp called ki- ki- na- um, Night Wing, where, like, uh, there's a, um, uh, how do I say this? Uh, sorry, wait. Well, basically, um, the, the characters from camp, uh, from this uh, summer camp area I must uh, investigate the like the horrors that is happening there like you know they're being cursed by a witch which uh, everyone thinks that um, that Stacy's character Ziggy Berman is the witch uh, but she's not and um, yeah so they must uh, band together to, to stop uh, the killer when like the the killer like comes to, like the killer attacks the camp and, it's, and, and the killer is uh, probably one of the campers I guess I don't remember if that's true but yeah so yeah, so Fear Street nineteen seventy eight. Uh, yeah, I gotta say right now, I love this movie. Fear Street nineteen seventy eight is probably the the best of the three. Like it is, amazing. I love it. Yeah, and uh, I I heard many people say that this is the best one too. Like like many people agree with that. Yeah, like yeah, based on the research I read, um, it seems like, it seems like they're on my side, and I, I'm totally with them. Yeah, Fear Street nineteen seventy eight is such a blast, and. Uh, Let's talk about Sadie Singh because Sadie Singh is the reason why I saw this film and she gives a great performance, a top-notch performance. Um, I will say that this is her weakest performance. Um, I've always seen uh, movies with... Uh, I've always seen three Sadie Singh girls. Um, I saw um, her in de- definitely Max Mayfield. Obviously, Max is her, her signature role. Um, I saw her in All Too Well, which uh, her name is literally her. And I'm gonna review. I'm gonna do a review on All Too Well for its first anniversary. Uh, this like next month. Um, can't wait. And 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 this one is her weakest performance, but I still think it's an excellent uh, performance. I, I still love it. Yeah, it's so like her performance. Uh, she's t- I love that she's actually um uh, she acts like a typical city singer and, and like doesn't like change uh. The, the, the persona of her characters yeah she, she really she kind of does remind me of max mayfield um yeah she um you know she has the sarcastic tone that with her boyfriend like you know 
how uh, like like in the beginning of the film where like her boyfriend said, Hey, uh, are you gonna thank me? Are you gonna thank me for saving you? I was like, Oh, I totally thank you for saving me. Yeah, and and and, and, then, she, and then she just like she still hates him for I don't know. Well, they they do get together later on, but yeah, um, and she still has that fear of Max from Stranger season four, like the fear and uh, what's that called? Uh, shit, I f- damn it, I forgot what what the word was called, but never mind. Um, yeah, the fear of the the fear side of her um from Max uh and Trader thing. So yeah, I think it, it definitely makes sense of that. Yeah, Say thing is just an amazing actress. I can't wait to see her in the the whale and and dear Zoe. Uh. I'll probably check out the glass castle since uh, Saysing is in that film as well. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. But uh, judging so. Uh, even judging this on its own without the uh, Saysing, without the uh, looking into Saysing, it's still the best in the trilogy. It's just um, the best written. It's probably it, it, and I think one thing I love about this film the most is that it 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 takes away um like my one big issue I have with the. Uh, 1994 and 1666 uh, God I can't so why is it so hard to say that but I'll, I'll get to that one flaw later but yeah this um, this movie um, pretty much um, avoids um, all those flaws um, and and it makes way for just one uh, it, it, it does have one straightforward connected story with uh, you know you know with uh, the killer on the loose um, attacking the characters and uh, and one thing that one thing that gave me strange thing season four about is that he it's like um each character like has a has a separate thing I, I I'm not sure about that but I mean the, we see them separated uh, throughout the second act like like you, you know you, you know you got like um, one group of characters and another group uh doing something else um yeah and yeah man this is just so much fun I love it now I do have one criticism um I think that um. The villain choices, the, the the villain decisions, um, could have been better because, uh, in the beginning of the film, uh, they set up this nurse that uh, that Ziggy visits, uh, like, uh, they set her up to, to, to be the main villain of the film, and then like the 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 real villain, like I I I I I don't really, I'm not really sure on who who the character is. Uh, I don't really I didn't really get to know much about him, so. I think um if the nurse was the killer the whole time, I think it would have been a perfect. She would have been a perfect villain because, because she was actually set up to be the main antagonist of this movie. Yeah, but yeah, because you know her daughter is a killer. Like uh, they said something like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So um, overall um, Fear Street nine seventy eight is amazing. I love, love this movie. I I I think I think I should rewatch this if I have time later on. I, I definitely love to rewatch this soon. Uh, yeah. Um, with that said, I'm going to give Fear Street 1978 a 9 out of 10. Um, and so now we got one more uh, Fear Street movie to talk about. And that is the concluding chapter, Fear Street 1666. So um, Fear Street 1666 is the finale to, uh, to um, Fear, the Fear Street trilogy. And uh, it... Um, and there's actually two separate plots, uh, just like uh, like similar to, well, I I don't I don't want to keep keep mentioning that show, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, there's two plots in this, uh, yeah, I mean, um, basically, um, basically, um, Fear Street, uh, this tells the the, the origin story of uh Sarah Fear, um, like how uh she became like a witch, uh. That's the yeah, and it takes place in sixteen sixty six. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this the first time is tells the origin story of how Sarah became a witch, and uh, and um the, the and the 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 village has gone into a witch hunt, and then the second half of the film uh, yeah, the second half of the film uh, takes place back in nine ninety four. I believe it's takes place right after the first film. Uh, basically um. The the nine nine four uh, characters uh, must uh, put the 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 end the, 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 the curse. So yeah, uh, Fear Street sixteen sixty six. Well, yeah, um, I would say that this, this is this is a great uh, film. Yeah, this is such a great uh, conclusion to uh the the Fear Street trilogy. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the great movie. Um, first of all, um, I I I I'm glad to see uh Say Sing in this. Um, even though um Say Sing's uh, character was uh only a cameo and um i believe uh, this um yeah I- i'm actually sure say in this uh, plays a very different character because uh, she um 
I mean, th this takes place um like literally dec like hundreds of years uh be before the uh, actual events um and um. And yeah, um, I love that she makes the she made a cameo. Her cameo is definitely the best scene in the film. But uh, yeah, she's a cameo. It's not she's not really in this. But we do get. We do get the Ziggy Berman flashbacks, like of the actual same, same character, um, in th that we know in this uh franchise, uh yeah, but even with or without Say Say, Fear Shade, th this Fear Shade movie is just totally wicked. Yeah, I thought that this was gonna be the weak. I was expecting this to be the weakest in the trilogy, but turns out this was actually my my second favorite Fear Shade movie, second only behind nineteen seventy eight, and uh, yeah, this was just um, this is the most intense hot and uh. The, this is the most intense and, scary, and terrifying uh, of, of the Fiesta trilogy. Yeah, there's just so much to uncover. Yeah, um, I love the um, the Sarah Fear um plot like and like her origin story. It's just very interesting and uh, yeah, yeah, it's very interesting and I, and I was actually invested to it in it. Uh, and even though like that part, uh, it doesn't have any horror elements to it since it's mostly just a witch hunt. And I think it's more supernatural since uh. There's no slashers, like, and I didn't really feel any like horror. But no, I don't have a problem with that. I usually don't have a problem if, if a horror movie isn't scary because I'm not the, I'm not like the biggest horror guy. Even though like I, I'm just, I'm even though I've grown, horror movies have uh, grown on me. Um, yeah. And um, I don't really have much to say about that that plot, but uh, yeah, um, the um, yeah, very interesting stuff. Uh. But the second half of the film, oh, oh. now I said a layer box that that the first half is better than the second half. I think that back actually, I think that I think the second half is better than the first half because uh, we actually get to see um how this uh, whole thing ends. Like every single story is somewhat connected, uh, just in different timelines, um, in different generations. But this um, yeah, but yeah, the they, they um put uh, an end to the curse, which is um very um fascinating uh. And yeah, it's still a great end. I don't know how much to say about it. Uh, it's not really as fresh in my mind anymore. But yeah, it's it's just a great conclusion, concluding chapter to uh, this uh, underrated trilogy. And yes, uh, Fear Street is an is an underrated trilogy. I I think this is a great uh, trilogy. Uh, and um, it is right up there with Scream and Quiet Place uh, as uh, one of my favorite the uh, horror franchises. And this is a perfect uh, movie to uh watch for Halloween. Um, if you want to see some. Slasher and supernatural elements combined. Uh, this is basically Scream and Stranger Things meets Stranger Things. Uh, both of like the best horror, two of the best horror franchises ever. Uh, yeah. Um. Even though Stranger Things is a TV franchise, it's still technically a a, a major uh, universe. Uh. Yeah. And um. Yeah. So I I I definitely recommend Fear Street. Um. If you haven't seen it yet. Uh. So if I were to to, to rank these movies, um. I would say nineteen ninety four is in last place. Uh, sixteen and then um, and then I have um sixteen sixteen sixty six is second best and then um, and then the week and then number one obviously nineteen seventy eight by a landslide. There's it, there, there's no competition in that. Uh, yeah, I actually we consider giving a few issues nineteen seventy eight a nine point five out of ten. So yeah, here's here's the um. Here's the rating summary. Here's the rating summary. Um, with the the nine seven eight being nine point five, and then the other two being eight out of ten. So yeah, the, that was my review on the Fear Street, the Fear Street trilogy. Um, what's your opinion of this trilogy? If you haven't seen it yet, uh, please watch it for this month. Uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for uh my, and stay tuned for more Halloween videos to come. Uh, my next um Halloween review will probably be, be freaky and then Yeah. My next Halloween review will be freaky. Um probably gonna watch that tomorrow and then um the next days I'll be watching um how do I say this? And then the the, the next day so uh, I'm gonna be doing my Daniel Craig Bond uh, reviews uh for as a start of my bond the content on my channel. So yeah, bye guys.